Hello there. Today, as you can see, we're attempting to load and play with my wonky camera. Hang on. <laughs> That's not much better. We're attempting to load and play Titanic Blinky on the ZX Spectrum. This was a request by uh, Gareth Knight. Uh, funny story behind this, actually. He asked me to play this game, but he, uh, he couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> couldn't remember what it was called. So it took us about 20 minutes between us to work out uh, what game is he actually wanted me to play? And to be honest, I've never heard of this. Um, for those who wish to know, as ever, it's released in 1991 by, as you can see in the top right there, Zeppelin Games. And it's the middle game in uh, the Blinky trilogy. I've never heard of Blinky. Certainly didn't know there was a trilogy. Um, this one, I don't know if the others are, is an arcade platformer. And we play, as you see there, Blinky the Ghost. Her, who is a member of Spectre. <laughs> Honestly, this story is mad, even by Spectrum standards. Um, where are we? Yeah. We will save the world from the evil power mad billionaire Arthur J. Hackensack. Hackensack. <laughs> He's kidnapped a scientist and forced him to build a super weapon which he has installed on the Titanic after raising it from its resting place at the bottom of the North Atlantic. I mean, he deserves to take out the world, world really, doesn't he? He's really, really trying, you know? He's put a lot of effort into this. I'm behind him, to be honest. <laughs> the weapon, it's, it's just mad. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Apparently, to show he isn't bluffing, Arthur, uh, the billionaire, has used the weapon of mass destruction to turn the Isle of Wight into a custard slice and New York into a bath sponge. Now, that's evil. <laughs> It's up to us as Blinky to save the day. And as ever, because I'm in control of Blinky, basically the world's buggered. Yeah, we're not going to save the day. We never do. We don't even save, well, an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I've never played this before. I've never heard of Blinky, to be honest. Totally passed me by. Um, I don't know if it was popular. I will say this, though, as you're going to find out very soon. This game is very, very quiet. It's as if they, they was working to a deadline and uh, they decided to leave the music till last and uh, as they decided to tackle the music, somebody ran in the room and went, no, it's too late, and just chipped it out. Because as you can hear, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, so we'll pick keys. Uh, there's no define option. It's Q, A, up, down, O, P, left, right, and then M is fire. And as you can hear, there is no sound. It's deadly quiet. Unless I pick something up like that, it goes meep. So that's all the noise you hear is the occasional meep. Oh, missed it. So I'm not sure where we're meant to go. I have had a couple of couple of goes and it hasn't gone very well to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm struggling, struggling to suss this one out. Uh, I know. Some baddies you can kill and some you can't. You can't kill the snails. I don't know why. But you can collect whatever they are. Unless the grenade, unless they turn into bombs, then you've got to run away. Uh, so on the screen we have energy, lives and score. We seem to score for collected stuff. Uh, and, and we're just on top of the ship. We're on top of the Titanic. So I'm, I guess we have to find his way in. Maybe, yeah. But I'm yet to make. <laughs> I'm yet to find out how to get in the bloody ship. So we just keep picking stuff up and dodging the snails because we can't kill them. Uh, he says running into snails. Oh, so there. I don't know if that's the mad scientist or. Uh, I don't know the evil. I don't know who it is, but there's somebody over there in charge of a, 
a big computer which has obviously been installed at a later date because you don't get you didn't get computers on the Titanic no I don't miss you that's a bomb so I think what we're gonna have to do is <laughs> I did say it was very quiet we're gonna have to head up into the ships uh, is it rigging I'm not very nautical I'll be honest yeah into the stringy bits we're gonna head up into the stringy bits what are they they're mad yeah them green things will kill them uh, I don't know what I've done I don't know what I've done there with some sort of switch Ooh. Yeah. you've got to raise this somehow and I can't figure out how to do it I don't know if you have to collect so much stuff <laughs> before it will raise yeah oh, I've fallen fall I wanted that. Right, I'll have to go back. I'll go over here. <laughs> it's just so quiet. Maybe it's because we're a ghost. The big ghost can't hear. Can't hear because we're a ghost. So I don't. I don't get what I'm doing there. Are there switches? I need to get that chain to raise but I don't know how to get it to raise I don't know if what I'm doing is making it raise or, or what no, that's the wrong way it's this way isn't it no oh, still down <sighs> I've even and I never do this I've even watched somebody have a go at this on YouTube and I still can't figure it out. That's <laughs> how useless I am. It, it just makes no sense. The, the guy just wanders around picking stuff up and suddenly he can get they can get by there. I don't know if you have to pick more stuff up or I don't know. I don't know. We'll just wander around for five minutes and if it still won't open, we'll give up. See what's that? Is, is that Kill them. Do you have to get so much scar? I don't know. There's no. I couldn't really find any instructions to be honest. I think what I'm going to have to do is ask everybody watching how on earth you get to the next bit. Because the baddies just seem to come back, so. I don't think this is doing anything. Ooh. Apart from slowly whittling my energy away, I'm dead. So what's that mean? Go to the front. See if the front one's open, maybe. Now, now I'm really struggling here. I'm sorry, but I don't think we're going to get very far with this one. Um, thoughts. Thoughts are, it looks quite nice. I like the character Blinky. Um, there's a lot of colour clash, but the character does move quite smoothly. Um, it's just too quiet. Surely they could have just put a little tune in. Or even more sound effects. See, that one does nothing there. I just I don't know that one does nothing now I think we're gonna give up we'll just check one time on the off chance that the chain is up and if it isn't up then uh, we've got as far as we can oh, it's not up is it it's not up I've missed something I do apologize but yeah yeah that's me and Titanic blinky done um, uh, I'm, 
disappointed with myself, to be honest. Sorry about that, Gareth. Uh, we haven't really seen much of the game. Uh, if somebody could tell me in the comments section uh, what it is I've missed, because I can't figure it out for the life of me. Um, and and also, have you played any of the other Blinky games? Are they the same sort of game? Are they something different? I think that's about it. I think that's all I've got to say on this one. Apart from, it's got to be the quietest game I've played in a long time. Thanks for watching. Those who did, catch you later. Bye-bye.